Oklahoma City, 1999, storm season. Monitoring the weather that day inside a mobile radar lab called a Doppler on Wheels is storm scientist Josh Werman. Please go ahead five miles and deploy. Go five miles as quickly as you can. At around 4 p.m., Josh's team begin following what will soon become one of the most notorious storms in American history. Storm A is a special kind of thunderstorm called a supercell, a powerful weather system with deep rotating updrafts producing winds of well over 100 miles an hour. 4.51 p.m., just 80 miles southwest of Oklahoma City, Storm A spawns its first tornado, later named A1. This is the first of Storm A's 14 twisters. Tornado A1 has come and gone, along with six more relatively minor twisters. Then, at 6.14 p.m., the storm's eighth tornado rips into Chickasha Municipal Airport. I'm just north of Chickasha on the interstate. What a storm! Classified as an F2 on the Fujitsu scale, the measure of a tornado's destructive power, A8's internal wind speeds reach over 100 miles an hour. But A8 is a mere baby compared to what's about to come. At 6.23 p.m., twister number nine touches down. It's a mile wide, and immediately it starts heading toward Bridge Creek. We could see just how alarmingly high the winds were on one side of that tornado, and the, there were a lot of radar measurements um, that were over 300 miles an hour, some substantially over 300 miles an hour. By 6.57 p.m., A9 officially becomes the world's most powerful tornado ever. In Bridge Creek, the mile-wide vortex has left more than 200 homes completely destroyed. At 7 p.m., the twister has become so powerful, the National Weather Service issues an unprecedented warning. Tornado emergency in South Oklahoma City metro area. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. We've never seen them use this wording before. This is a big deal, folks. You need to act. You need to find a safe place to take shelter. Still gaining strength, the massive twister continues northeast toward the much larger town of Moore. As we drove through Moore, we went through where the worst devastation was. Parts of it were just completely wiped out. One of my team saw a body on the side of the highway. Tornado A9 has by now ripped a 30-mile path through businesses and homes. Luckily for Oklahoma City, the tornado starts to die out before it can do any more damage. It missed the downtown area of Oklahoma City. And if you plot this, it looks like a gash on the metropolitan map, starting from the southwest, going through Moore, and then curving up through Del City and Midwest City. The mile-wide twister rips through 38 miles of urban landscape, destroys more than 4,000 homes, and claims 36 lives.